why your fitness routine may not work forever. So since you're listening to my podcast here, the Stronger Than Yesterday podcast, I assume that you're on a mission to improve yourself, to get better, to get stronger each and every single day, basically to level up your entire life. And chances are that you also want to improve your fitness and health, exactly like me. And on this journey of getting better, stronger, making better food choices, you might find something that works. Maybe it's a specific diet that led in the past to good results. Maybe it's a specific workout routine that you like very much and that works a wonder for you. Maybe it's habits like daily walks or doing a morning routine that you, you just know it's working. And this is great because it feels like you found something that's working and you dialed in your nutrition, your training, your recovery, all good. But here's the harsh truth. What works now may not work forever. What will give you results now might no longer do so in the future. Okay, and to demonstrate this, I'm going to give you an example of my personal life. So five years ago, I was a bachelor. So I was single, had no family, and literally all I cared about back then was fitness. Fitness was literally my main priority in life, also my only priority, I would say. I had no responsibilities whatsoever. Well, I had my nine to five, um, but let's be honest, I had just so much time for myself, so much time for fitness, and I would use this free time to work out, to work out on a daily basis, to work out very hard, long, intense workout sessions. Um, I would also follow a very strict diet plan. So I would count calories, weigh my food, I would meal prep, I would uh, try out different diets like keto, paleo, low carb, whatever is out there. I've tried them all. And um, another crazy fact here is at the time I didn't eat any chocolate whatsoever. Whatsoever. I didn't eat any crepe food, no pizza, nothing no burger, literally nada. Okay, no junk food whatsoever. I was pretty hardcore, okay? Lots of training sessions, high volume, lots of supersets, drop sets. Um, at some point in my life, I would even work out similar to a professional athlete, I would say, especially back when I trained at Venice Beach. So for those who don't know, I lived in Santa Monica, Venice Beach, um, like the mecca of bodybuilding, uh, like for seven, seven months it was. And initially I would go there to study English and I ended up like working out all day long. This is like... <laughs> Pretty much uh, how I developed my, my passion and like it was just an amazing time because you go to the beach, you work out at the beach um, with the equipment that is there. So there is on one hand the gym where Arnold and the, the old school bodybuilding guys would train. And then on the other hand, you have the calisthenics community. So this is the, the people who just use their own body weight to work out and you can find their rings and parallel bars and like all this cool stuff. Fantastic community. And uh, even the thought of, uh, of of this time when I was there, maybe if you watch this on video, then you see me smiling right now because it's such a good time in my life, for real. I made a lot of good friends there. Uh, shout out to the Venice crew, really, really, cool time I had there. But at the same time, 
my life was all about breaking out, all about fitness, literally nothing else. So just to give you an idea, I would probably go to school in the morning, two or three hours, and then I would go to Gold's Gym to get my weighted gym session in. After that, I would go to the beach, train another three to four hours. So I would say some days, five hours of training. It was like more or less a normal day. Sometimes a little bit, a little bit less, three hours. But like just a ridiculous amount of hours I spent working out um, and all that on a strict diet. Okay. So yeah, it comes really, really close to a professional athlete's life, if you ask me. The thing is, even though I consider this as, as very hardcore, it worked. It worked very well. I've gotten great results and um, I felt good. I felt good. Yeah, there was a time I, I clearly overtrained and... Uh, when this happened, like your, my body literally signaled me, dude, you have to like go a gear down, <laughs> gear down for real, because like um, at some point I would just no longer feel good. I would like, I would just overtrain. I, I, I don't go into this topic because I wrote a blog article about it and overtraining is not cool. It's not cool at all. Um, I think it can be compared with a burnout. Burnout usually comes from a lot of stress and overtraining is pretty much the same with training and working out. So if you just like work out so much and don't let your body recover. So very, very similar to a burnout, okay? Anyway, I found something that worked. I had this ultra hard training program that required multiple hours a day. I had this very restrictive diet. I got results. It worked. It worked really well. Now, five years forward to today, looks a bit different. I have a family. I want to spend time with my daughter as well as my fiance. I'm having my own online fitness business. I have a lot of clients who count on me. I also have two employees. I have to organize school, kindergarten for my daughter, right? To organize daycare. I have to do like the household chores, making groceries and all that. Especially now when my fiance is at work. It's uh, tough, by the way. Shout out to all the single parents out there because the past couple of weeks, it really showed me how hard it is. Like when you're alone, quote unquote, as said, my fiance is working. So some days I would try to get some work done at the same time, look after my daughter and she's like, uh, almost three years old. And, uh, if you have children yourself, you know how children are when they're at this age. Crazy too, it's called, right? And this really crazy time. And uh, it requires a lot of patience, a lot, a lot of patience. So a shout out to all the single parents out there. Um, anyways, I'm <laughs> coming back to what I intended to say. Nowadays, obviously my priorities shifted working out is still a part of my life. Fitness will always be there, but obviously I can no longer work out for several hours, several hours a day. Also doesn't speak to me anymore. I also don't really have the time to do that anymore. Um, my business is very important to me. My family is important to me. And uh, yeah, balancing those areas can be tricky, as you know, can be tricky. Now, I also want to have, let's say, lunch every now and then with my family. I also want to go out and have date nights with my fiance. I also want to have a good time with my daughter. And every now and then that means 
eating some chocolate with her and all that. I also don't like to say no to desserts anymore. I just won't do that. Like, yeah, sometimes I know it might not be best for my body, but on the other hand, if I have a good time with my family, if I have a good time with my friends, um, I, I sure as hell get get the chocolate and, and the junk food, okay? Simply because I'm, a, I'm in, a, in a complete different phase of my life where now fitness is still important to me, but it's no longer the number one priority. It's no longer the thing that, you know, controls, rules my life, okay? Hashtag balance is key. Now, um, my stress levels are clearly higher nowadays than back then, which affects recovery, of course. If you sleep less and if you live a stressful life, you need to pay more attention on, on recovery, make sure that you rest enough. If I trained as intense as back then, I would most certainly burn out. Because working out is also stress on your body. Now, I surf a lot, let's say, I surf dozens, at uh, dozens, I surf dozens of clients. Um, I manage a small team, two employees, even a few more uh, part-time. I have my daughter, I have my family. I need to make sure family stays under control, right? I need to make sure that the house doesn't burn down <laughs> um, again. Crazy too. My daughter, like, yeah, uh, yeah, we leave it at that. And all those things, they can be very stressful, okay? My stress level is certainly higher than back then. And if I would add now this hardcore training program into the mix to all the other points, like that already put stress on me, my energy will eventually run out. Now, what does that mean? Does it mean I don't need to work out anymore? Or does it mean I cannot have a family and work out? Absolutely not. This is not what I want to say. However, that simply means that we need to adapt, okay? We need to adapt to our life situation. Um, we need to pivot our training methods and our diet habits. Um, and it starts with simply analyzing your current situation, okay? You need to ask yourself, are you someone who can follow a super strict diet plan? Someone who never wants to eat chocolate? Or are you in a phase where you also want to have brunch with your family and enjoy the croissant and uh, the Nutella or whatnot? Are you in a phase where you have a lot of stress? You have like exams and maybe you have your own business and maybe um, you have a newborn, or do you live a relatively low stress life and you can really ramp up your training sessions? You really have to like think about that. And then again, in both situations, no matter whether you have a low, st low stress life or a high stress life, you should work out. So you should work out no matter what, but what I want you to do is that you work out intelligently, okay? Be intelligent with your workouts and with your nutrition. Because what worked back then for me doesn't work anymore for me today. Still the same body, still the same life, but completely different phases of life. So it doesn't work anymore. And, um, you know, in workout, so in, in training part, I take this even further because if you don't constantly change up your workout program, if you don't challenge your body, your muscles with new stimulus, then you will stagnate. You will no longer gain muscle, lose body fat. You will no longer see results. It's not only recommended, but it's essential. You, you have to, you have to adapt 
your your workout program and yeah maybe you find something that works wonders for now that leads to great results at some point you will stagnate and you will have to like start a new phase maybe you need to switch your entire uh training program um maybe you need to switch your switch maybe you need to just like swap a few exercises whatever it is this is like essential when it comes to working out okay you just change things up and then again on the other hand what diet is concerned there's those there are those simple questions that you have to ask yourself and depending on what stage in life you are you might want to try out something different like uh yeah for for me keto hell no hell no um well I don't I don't recommend keto to anyone to be honest but especially now especially now because I know I've done it in the past I know how hard it is um just to stick to it like impossible okay and then how I felt and like the, the side effects I got no thank you but again the main takeaway here is what's working now doesn't mean will work forever super super easy now honestly i think it all comes down to the growth mindset that i addressed a few times already on the podcast um it literally goes a long way in life because some someone who is willing to learn someone who is willing to adapt someone who's willing to adjust and optimize is has definitely better chances than someone who says no i'm doing this diet it's the only thing that's working or i'm using that product and everything else is bs um i'm telling you guys if you have a growth mindset if you're open for new things if you're willing to improve to learn to optimize then you have much better chances to succeed okay this is very very important and uh every now and then i actually get to speak to those people who unfortunately do not have this growth mindset they literally think they found the magic pill oftentimes it's it's a supplement i'm not going to speak it out but they believe that they have this specific supplement that is superior that is the only thing that's going to uh, give you results and somehow they are just no longer open for anything else and every now every, every time i speak to them i feel almost a bit sorry for them because again you won't get far in life if you don't have the growth mindset if you just like narrow minded and think this is the only thing that's working and by the way this is not only related to fitness diet working out but everything in life my business for example what i do right now who knows whether it's going to work still in two years or three um also there you need to adjust you need to optimize you need to pivot if necessary okay so my advice guys be a lifelong student try to become better try to become stronger stronger than yesterday this is how you improve your life quality how you get better and how you achieve greatness